What's cooking, good looking? Hi, I'm Erica. I'm Odd. And today's just gonna be kind of a chill video because I am not doing the best. I didn't post a video last week, which is technically this week uh, as I'm filming this because I've just... I've had a really long week and I'm just both mentally and emotionally drained from it if I'm being honest. So at the beginning of this week when I would normally film I just couldn't really find the motivation um, and I don't ever want to post something that I wouldn't find interesting so I didn't just want to make up a video just to put a video out. Um, I decided that this might be a fun little chill video for me to make this week because I do still want to make a video for you guys. Basically what happened this week, I don't want to get too into it, but uh, it basically was my birthday on Monday, which I did have a good birthday. I turned 25, which is fun, but the entire year of 24, basically in 24 it was one bad situation after another and I'm still mentally recovering from a relationship that I had during that time um, and I don't feel comfortable or safe enough in my life right now where I can fill you in on that just know that I am not in any immediate danger anymore I feel and I am surrounded by friends and family who love me. So, enough about that. <laughs> um, I'm getting a tattoo today, and I'm very excited about that. I've wanted this tattoo for a long time, and my tattoo shop that I enjoy going to with my artists moved shops, so they're finally open and taking clients again. They're done with all their rescheduled stuff, I think, so I'm very excited to go get this tattoo. It's gonna be a different experience, I think, because of uh, COVID and quarantine. I am gonna talk about that a little bit, but let me set up sort of in a good position where I can show you. Okay, so basically I'm getting the tattoo right here, right below my dad's handwriting. I'm getting a cancer constellation and hand-drawn stars. So I thought that that would be good to put right below his handwriting since he and I are both cancers, but that is the last time that that spot will not have a tattoo on it. And I'm very excited. I am also wearing this shirt that's like very uh, cut open. I do have double-sided tape. When I get ribcage tattoos, I like to wear more open shirts so that on the way home the tattoo can also breathe and it's not like rubbing up against the material or anything. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and, and get this tattoo and commemorate 25 being the new year of better decisions and events in overall positivity, hopefully. I think so, I'm speaking it into existence. 25 is gonna be great, <laughs> okay. Turn the AC down. This amount of heat is just absolutely ungodly. <laughs> but I just got done with my tattoo. You can see a little bit of it right there. But I went in, I got it done. I didn't film myself in the shop just because when I go to get a tattoo, I like to relax and not worry about camera angles or things like that. It's definitely a form of like me time. The tattoo shop I went to is called House of Ink. I'm going to link Doug's Instagram down below, the owner of the shop. Absolutely amazing shop. He's one of the best artists, does amazing fine line work. He did the rose on my foot as well. And along with the touch up of my older tattoo. And I honestly just can't say enough good things about that shop. Like you leave there in a better mood than you arrived in for sure. Just the vibes are awesome. The work is incredible. Um, so you guys should check it out if you're in the area and looking for a good tattoo or piercing. He is the place to be. So I think now what I'm gonna do is just grab lunch really quick and then I'm gonna head home and uh, show you guys my tattoo. Are we all ready to see the tattoo? <laughs> And that is her. And I know the usual cancer constellation is more of an up and down situation, but I wanted it to look more as if it was in the sky. And that is not how it's always viewed in the sky, depending on where it is. But that is it for today's video. It was a great experience. The tattoo turned out absolutely amazing. I'm so happy with it. I know this video was short, but I just wanted to make this little tattoo vlog for you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on all my social medias at Erica's Odd, and be sure to follow Doug's Instagram as linked down below in the description and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.